Hi, we're going to revise chasing cars that we did at lessons today. And um, the introduction, first of all, we're going to look at that. It's going to sound like this. Very straightforward, a lot of repetition. I hope you noticed the pinky didn't move. Now before I break it down as on the PDF file that you guys have got, I'm going to zoom into my picking hand so you can see how we're doing it. Now if you want to use a pick you can, so I've got no issues if you decide to use a pick and you do this. Make sure that if you do use a pick it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up like that. But if you use fingers, you can use thumb and first finger. And I do it like this. This works really nice and it's a nice easy rhythm. Again, I'm not trying to push fingers or a pick, whichever works for you. That's cool. Check this out. Get closer. Thumb on the fourth, finger on the third. And you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you play it through each chord twice and then you change. Now I'm going to focus on the fretting hand now so we can see the chord shapes. There we go. We're quite high up the neck and if you look at your PDF file as well it starts up with a 7 and a 9. The 7 is the first finger. You might have dots on top of your guitar. You can see these little white dots over there, little white markers. And fret 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you're quite up there on the fourth string from the bottom and you're going to put the pinky and the reason I want the pinky not the ring finger is because later we're going to stretch so I know it's a bit of a stretcher but it's worth the effort if you're going to get it we did it nicely earlier pinky is on the third string fret nine and if your guitar has got dots on them your finger one and four must be on a dotted fret so you can either have a little square or you can have a little circle dot depending on the guitar. That's irrelevant, but it's going to be dotted and you should have the dots on top as well. You can see the dots there. There's a 7, there's a 9. Okay, that's your first chord. I'm going to bring my picking hand slightly into view now. And there you can see I'm using fingers, not because I think it's better than the pick, but just to demonstrate how it's working. If you want to use a pick, that's cool. Remember to count to 4 twice before the change and when I change watch that first finger that's tapping you're going to see something happen there are you ready two and three and four and one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four watch this one two three four one and two and three and watch this and back to where we started so on the shapes, if I sit and zoom very close into this now, first shape, play through it twice, simply move your first finger back, which means the thumb might have to disappear a bit to help you with the stretch. If my thumb is too high, I find he doesn't want to go anywhere. But if I drop the thumb, I find he can go places. So the trick is drop the thumb to help the first finger go from fret 7 to fret 6, and if you look at the PDF, you can see the PDF is color coded as well. So if you look at, for example, the first one, the 7 9 is in blue, that's your 7 9. When you go to the 6 9 in green, all that's happened is that first finger's moved back. We were just chatting about that. And when you go to the next line of the 0 9s in brown, you simply lose the first finger. So you're playing open string. You can see it vibrating there. That's an open string. Open means no fingers on it. And then you come back to the blue. So nice and color coded. Now, if you're doing the chords, you're going to do something like this. It's a really easy chord song to play as well. Your chords are going to start with A. And you're going to do something like this. The chords are on your diagram. Start with an A. So you recognize that. I think we did say that you may swap fingers one and two around if it's more convenient. And you're strumming from the fifth string. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so it's a really straightforward rhythm there's nothing special there's no sort of nothing special like that it's just straight 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and count 
count to four twice. Then you change to E. Now I'm going to focus on the chord so you can see the change from A to E. There's my A. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Change to E. Goes to the third string from the bottom. Finger two goes to fifth string from the bottom, second fret, and ring finger. Fourth string from the bottom, second fret. There's my E chord. You can see a bit more of an overview from that. See the fingers nice in position. Strumming hand back into view. And we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and straightforward as that. You got it. Next, D. D has the first finger on the second fret third string. Second finger, second fret, first string, and ring finger goes to third fret, second string. And the only real change of year happening with the strumming hand is you're strumming a different amount of strings. So the D is going to strum from string four. And it's as simple as that. So if I take you through one time, if you want to join me, A chord, you'll get a bit of a different view here so you can see it easier. Are you ready? Two and three and four and A and two and three and four and one and three and four E one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four D and two and three and four and one and two and three back to A now one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and and then you start all over again, guys. Snow Patrol chasing cars really cool song. Nice and easy. Try and record the strumming, then maybe put the picking with it. But we'll take it further next week at school. Hope you have an awesome one. Any questions, please do not hesitate to drop me a WhatsApp. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.